नमस्ते आई एम डॉक्टर एस के वांगनु सीनियर कंसल्टेंट एंडोक्रोनोलॉजिस एंड डायबिटोलॉजिस एट द प्रेस्टीजियस इंद्रप्रस अपोलो हॉस्पिटल न्यू दिल्ली टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस डायबिटीज अमंग द वेरियस एज ग्रुप्स एवरीबॉडी लाइक चाइल्ड ए टीनेजर ए lady in the reproductive age group a middle aged man an elderly man has different kind of perceptions about the diabetes different kind of questions about diabetes he will see what kind of a questions what kind of perception they have in their mind regarding diabetes everybody is having different kind of a notion about diabetes we will try to discuss each and every aspect of diabetes looking with the perspective of each and every age group in their life so let's discuss something about the diabetes doctor can uh, diabetes be a reason for someone's death diabetes is dubbed as a silent killer and sometimes we know diabetes we hear the news that diabetes during the night he suddenly died we call it sudden cardiac death and diabetes is one of the important reason and the reason being either the patient has gone into severe hypoglycemia which is low blood sugar or diabetes are prone to develop irregular heart beats which is called arrhythmia that can lead to sudden cardiac death or the heart blocks so diabetes can be one of the important cause of cardiac death or the sudden death doctor how diabetes lead to amputation diabetes is one of the important cause of leading cause i will say leading cause of lower limb amputation and the primarily how the diabetes lead to the amputation because the nerves which supply the legs the arteries they get blocked because of the cholesterol deposition and above that your nerves get affected you don't feel any sensation if you have injury or pin prick it leads to ulcer formation which gets infected which may lead to the septicemia and that may lead to the amputation the two important cause a neuropathy and a embolic or the vascular cause which is important in diabetes which lead to the lower limb amputation does eating sugary foods cause diabetes well taking sugary items or the direct sugars will not cause diabetes all the time basically it is a myth normally those patients who are predisposed to develop diabetes like those who are obese those who have got a family history of diabetes those who don't exercise properly they lead a sedentary lifestyle if those patients eat lot of sugary items they tend to gain weight and we know overweight and obesity is a main cause of development of the insulin resistance and the insulin resistance lead to the development of diabetes later on so it is not eating the sugary items it is if you are really prone to develop diabetes and if you eat sugary item you tend to gain weight and overweight and obesity is a risk factor for the development of diabetes can diabetes be cured or reversed a lot of people come and ask me as you have asked can diabetes be cured or reversed first of all diabetes can't be cured it can be controlled only as for the reversal of diabetes is concerned you must be hearing lot of news items on the whatsapp on the youtube so many programs running what do you call the diabetes reversal program and i will tell you definitely diabetes reversal program is nothing it just give you a strict dietary regimen exercise they just control the diabetes of short period of time and they will call it diabetes reversal there has been a lot of studies going in the uk what do you call the direct trial where they give very small amount of calories very low calories something around 686 calories and every day in the form of a shake a protein shake and they follow their diabetes over a period of next two years and they found that the diabetes can be reversed or they can go into remission but every patient cannot take a very strict low calorie diet throughout his life so again the fact remains diabetes can be reversed for a shorter period of time not for all the time so don't think diabetes can be reversed completely and 
the other thing I told you that diabetes cannot be cured, it can be controlled only. What is DKA, sir? Yeah, you are right. DKA is a diabetic ketoacidosis. This is a condition where blood sugar suddenly jumps up, patient comes to the emergency room with rapid respiration, he is dehydrated, requires a lot of fluid, he may go into altered consciousness, he may be comatose and primarily this is because of the insulin lag, patient has not taken insulin for a few days. This is a medical emergency which requires immediately treatment in the ICU. Sir, can the long term complication of the diabetes be prevented? Long term complication of diabetes can be prevented. If number one, if you keep your blood sugar under control and you keep your HbA1c on 7%, it should not go above 7% and in the younger individual, if you keep your HbA1c between 6.5 to 7. So that we know that aggressive control of diabetes from the very beginning will delay the onset of diabetes related complication. We call it good metabolic memory. In other words, we call it metabolic karma. If you have a good karma, karma from the very beginning, you will have no complication in the later on. So try to treat your diabetes from the day one aggressively so that you can prevent the development of complications. What one should expect if he or she has been diagnosed with diabetes? The basic thing, once you are diagnosed with diabetes, it is not the end of your life. Your diabetes is a sort of a social stigma. Think if you have de developed diabetes, remember A, B, C, D, E. A means keep your blood sugar under control by keeping HbA1c around 7. B means keep your blood pressure around 140 by 90. C means keep your cholesterol, the bad cholesterol, LDL cholesterol less than 19. And D and E are diet and exercise. So these are the five important pillars. Once you develop diabetes, remember A, B, C, D, E. Today we try to discuss some of the very important questions and some of the various conceptions among the minds of the various people like children, adolescents, teenagers, young females or a patient who is middle-aged or elderly group. There are a lot of questions, a lot of, you know, different kinds of myths and misconceptions hovering in their minds of these kind of a groups of people. We will try to explain and we tried to explain each and every doubts among the minds of these people. I hope they will think, they will enjoy and they will be very knowledgeable and educated. Whatever they were asking, whatever they are in the mind, I think we have tried to answer one of them one by one. Thank you very much. If you have symptoms of diabetes, be alert, consult your nearby physician or a diabetologist. That is very important. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay informed. Namaste.